Here are my essential tools. I've got my canvas, all primed, ready to go. Pre-stretched at this point. And then I've got my work table. And in the work table, this is a glass, a sheet of glass. Here's my solvent, which is where I clean my brushes. I use odorless paint thinner, high quality, so there are no toxic fumes, or better said, you don't smell the toxic fumes. So you could say there are toxic fumes that you don't smell. And then I've got a magnetized top that I made. And then drawer one, tools, knives, screws. Drawer two, here's the important one to me, my paints. And I organize my paints according to color. So I basically go from the, through the spectrum, my yellows, my reds, my violets, whoops. That belongs down there. My greens, my blues, my darker blues, my browns, and finally my blacks. And then large tubes that I use in different quantities. Down below, got my heavy gloves, got more cloths, and more odorless paint thinner. Up here, very important, I do have some linseed oil or stand oil. I have my painting medium, more solvent, and I have a alkyd painting gel, which I find very really useful. My knives, I keep over in this corner. And they go from very large, to very small and fine. So there we go. Okay, now I'm ready to get some paint out and I'm gonna do a little bit of underpainting. But I'm using this time a uh, Let's see if I can get this balanced. Yeah, I'm using a dark ground. This is not really the underpainting, this is what we call the ground color. So I'm using a little lumber, maybe a touch of blue in it, maybe a speck of yellow ochre. And that for me is going to be a very liquidy, and I'm using not my painting medium, which is oily, or rather I'm using my pure turpentine. I'm cutting it down, like so. Yeah, this is the way we do it. And then I'm going right smack over to the canvas with it, and I'm going to put a very liquidy ground down on the canvas. That was all my dice before that. Crisscrossing 